So I decided to record this video instead of posting my usual one that I had planned because there really needs to be some discussion and some advice for how to, you know, bring discussions of racism and systematic racism into the classroom and how to help our students deal with these kind of struggles, whether they're experiencing them themselves or not, right? Whether they should be allying with others. And so these are just a few suggestions I have. There are obviously many more, and I'll go ahead and link some below that have been, you know, created by, you know, black creators, okay? But here's just a few tips that you might consider in your own classroom. So the first tip is due to my own teaching of literature and writing classes. And so I teach basically children's literature. So one thing that I definitely do and recommend if possible in your classroom is I make sure that the characters, the people that my students are reading about are representing a diverse group of people and not just you know the usual type that you see in the classroom um, so you want to see what books or essays or short stories or poems are written by own voices which means by the people who are actually being depicted in the book itself and so you might choose books that actually have to do with the topic at hand so all american boys or the hate you give for example but then you also might consider like maybe you're doing a class on biographies or something along those lines and you can see okay like what books are being written by black um, authors about their own life story or you know you can be less you know connected to that and be more well i'm teaching fictional stories so again you know what books might fit the topic at hand are you teaching fantasy are you teaching sci-fi realism whatever the case may be you know find books that are representing black and other minority lives but are actually written by black and minority authors along those lines maybe you're not teaching literature or writing so you can't really have fictional works in your classroom you can see okay am i at least having black scholars represented in my classroom okay so when we're studying this period of time or this particular process or this phenomenon are there scholars of color that i can make sure to include in the reading list right and so i'm sure they're there you might just have to do some research and see you know ones you're not familiar with read them yourselves and see if they're good fits for your particular class outside of reading or viewing if you're going to do movies or documentaries or something along those lines you also want to see how you can make sure that your black students and your students of color have a voice and some you know space in the classroom to give their own experiences to things that might be mentioned in class and so this can be really hard to do especially and in my case when you know that you're going to have a lot of students who are white and who might struggle talking about race uh, but there are definitely avenues you can take there's research being done on how to do this kind of education but you really want to see how you can make sure that you have productive conversations about race in your classroom and make sure that it's not all the work isn't being done by your students of color so I do have a video about how to help shy students in the classroom, and I think this could kind of match well with how to help um, students of color as well. So one tip I had in that video um, is about having like index cards, like end cards. So at the end of class, ask them a question, have them write them down. So you might do this kind of anonymous feedback um, with you know questions related to race as well, um, which could help you kind of get a sense of you know are there certain students who are really struggling? Maybe you don't want it to be anonymous, you haven't put your names on it. But that can be one way of kind of seeing, getting a sense of how the classroom is really going when you're having these you know, more difficult conversations. Another tip, which is a major one, is to turn to you know, black leaders in whatever it is that you teach or just in education in general and get their advice for how to help yourself and your students as well. Um, so Twitter is definitely something I turn to and you can you know, find tons of people on there who are giving and sharing their experiences but also giving advice for, you know, here's some ways that you can help fight racism in your classroom. And then they have just tweets on this information. Uh, so if you're not really sure how to get started, you want to turn to those who have the experience and who are already sharing it, right? So you don't want to put the work on them saying, hey, share, 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 right? Because maybe they're not ready to do that or not willing to do that or not comfortable doing that. But you can go and search people who are already doing this kind of work because they want to. And so I think particularly Twitter is a good resource for this, but you might find others as well. And then sticking with the, re with the internet, you want to see if you can find different resources that you can use for your lesson planning as well that are already online and easy to access because it can be easier than actually getting specific books right from your library or your digital library tools. And so in this case, like for example, I have this one website that I'll show here 
and it's for you know kind of giving you ideas for what books to use in my case the children's at classrooms that have representations for other groups rather than just the usual you know white middle class straight you know dynamic and so I use this website to kind of give me some tips for what books to include in my classroom okay so again if you're not teaching literature then you might see let's do some research to find out what's being done in my particular field in relation to making sure there's representations in my classroom of different groups of people. Now, all these types of resources are great, of course, and I definitely, myself, I'm gonna make sure that I use it even more and more in future semesters. But you also wanna do make yourself a resource. And so you wanna sit down and really reflect on what have I already been doing that's helpful, what I've already been doing that's not helpful, right? And really take some time to think about this because there's a lot of stuff that we are blind to that we don't realize are examples of prejudice, okay? So take some time to reflect and see what changes can you help instill in your students, in the classroom, um, and in your own life and amongst the people that you love and your friends as well. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Again, I would love to hear about other tips, right? So go ahead and comment below, especially if you're someone of color, right? I'm definitely white uh, showing Hispanic, but I hope this was helpful. I am gonna link a few resources from um, other people of color, especially black scholars and black curators that I think you should check out as well.